Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Layout. This week, we are going to work on the traffic signals. And as you can see, I have them in, and they are working. So we'll go step by step on how I got that done this week. And uh, basically, that's it for this week. Just a quick update. And thank you to all you new subscribers. We are up to, I believe, 250 which is totally amazing. And thank you for all the wonderful comments and the questions. Uh, as always, I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. I'll try to answer all of them that I can. And uh, that's about it. So let's get into installing the traffic light signals. All right, so at the hobby shop, I found the coolest things. These are polystyrene and they're uh, tubes and they're rigid and they're going to work perfectly for my uh, conduit going down through the, the board there. So I'm working on cutting some little uh, cement pads for the uh, traffic signals to sit on and I'm going to paint them concrete and then we'll go ahead and drill through. I've decided I'm going to do it with a hand uh, drill rather than the old power drill because that tends to start wobbling off and making a, a, a big mess. So uh, I'm going to pre-drill it, a uh, pilot drill with this long one. Then I'll use the 732nd drill, which is what these tubes are, to drill the top and the bottom. And then these should feed all the way through the table. I can glue it on both ends, cut them off flush, and then we'll be good to put the, uh, the wires down through. Okay, I've created two little styrofoam uh, pads that will um, basically represent concrete pads. So you'll have one traffic signal here facing that way. Imagine there'll be an, a limit line here and then a, a yellow line down the middle. Same here, this will be facing this way. There'll be a limit line there, yellow line here. And then I'm deciding whether to just attach it to the sidewalk that's already here, or maybe make a little thing here uh, to kind of narrow the driveway opening a little bit more, because uh, there'll be a limit line here and a yellow line. I may just go into the sidewalk there. That might just be fine. So next step is I'm gonna paint these the concrete color that the uh, sidewalks are, and then uh, let those dry, and then we'll do our drilling operations. All right, I've successfully drilled with the long drill bit down through each of the three points, and these have been painted concrete color. Uh, so now um, I'm gonna use the 732nd drill bit and that's what the tube size is. And I'm just going to, just by hand, I'm just going to open this up real gently through the first layer styrofoam. Just so the tube will go all the way through. Uh, so I'll do that on all three. Then we'll go underneath and we'll do the same thing up through the plywood. Then we should be able to feed the tube all the way down and glue it in place. Okay, so the pilot holes were drilled, went ahead and uh, did the 732nd drill from above, pushed the tubes down, just like this. So here's the, the rigid tube, push it in here, and then all the way down. So I'll just have that be flush right there like that. We'll put a little spot of glue on the upper part. And this one's a little tight, just like that. And I'll have a little, probably just a little bit of a piece of foam underneath the uh, traffic signal. I'll show you, let's go over to the bench and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll have to have just a little piece that we'll glue on top there as we glue it down. Otherwise, we'll see the hole. But uh, underneath, there are the tubes sticking down. So I'll cut those off flush with a little X-Acto knife 
blade, a uh, little saw blade, and then we'll run our wires down and hook them up. But over here on the bench, I've got one of the traffic signals here and see how the base is very small. So they'll have to be almost, I might use a washer. Uh, I'll go out to the shop and find a little washer that will fit over that and cover that. And then that can just be glued down into place. So that's what we'll do. So I went through my old hobby stuff and I found these really neat little, uh, well, they're threaded and they're set up to go down inside wood, like into plywood or balsa wood, and then you can thread something into it. Well, it happens to fit perfectly at the base of this and then the little spines on that dig into the styrofoam real well. So I've got two of them in. You can kind of see the little base right there for it. Kind of like the base they'd use right there. So I'm thinking a little bit of paint or some rust or something. You can see I put some rocks around here, some foliage just to uh, sort of make it look a little more natural here. That one's just standing kind of on its own, but let's go ahead and do the last one here. We'll, uh, we'll thread this through. Then what I've been doing is just putting it into place and a little spot of crazy glue and it's in. And these guys are in, they're tight. So let's do that last one and then we'll hook them up. Feeding the wires through a tube like that, conduit if you will, is so much easier. So what I do is just, that happens to be the perfect size. I just push it down in the hole there, let it take a, a good bite into the styrofoam. And then we'll just push this the rest of the way like that. Now we'll put a spot of uh, crazy glue and I'll just hold it till it's good. I kind of like to tip the head of it so it's facing the street, not just straight. So we'll have it tip toward the street a little bit and then we should be good. Okay, while those traffic signals are drying where they go, over here on the bench, I wanted to show you, I picked these up a while ago. These are some buses, um, power buses. So as you can see, I've got it set up. I'll take the cover off here. So I've got it set up that everything that hooks to any one of these screws will be connected to the same. So if I connect one here, it'll be positive, positive on any one of these. Same with the negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this underneath and I'm gonna hook up uh, from my 12 volt power supply, a uh, positive wire and a negative wire. And then anything I hook to these will be positive and negative 12 volts. So this is the controller board for the traffic signals. This will be connected positive and negative to one of the buses like that. Then my traffic signals will connect to these two. Um, there will be two connected to this one and one connected to this one. Um, that'll be the one from the side street. And then these two, of course, would be opposite sides of the main street. So you've got green going this way, red that way. And then when it turns, that'll be green. These two will be red. So that's how we're gonna hook it up. I need to locate a couple of little uh, wood screws that I can screw this in to the bottom of the bore of the layout. And then I need a couple of screws for these guys to, to screw them in. And then it's just a matter of hooking it all up once I get under the table. So uh, I'll need to locate those screws. I've got my drill gun. We'll have a pilot hole and a screwdriver tip so we can get that all installed. And uh, then we should have some working street lights, or uh, traffic signals, I should say. All right, I've got all my tools that I think I'm going to need in there. And I'm going to go around the other side and duck under. And then once we're under there, we'll get going and get it hooked up. 
one of the projects I want to do is make it more accessible for myself to get down there by doing something with this cross piece here. I just uh, haven't had the time, but uh, it'd be easy enough to just uh, cut it right there and then have a couple of screws that I could just remove it and then crawl right under there. So that'd be the way to go, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to go crawl under the hard way. Okay, so here we are. This is the side street comes out there. This is the side closest to the park. This is the side came out right by my junction hub there, but that's the side by the gas station. So we're going to want to place this board as close as it'll reach for the wires to reach, but I also want it close enough to the front there that I can reach under because there are some controls here for determining the uh, sequence and the timing. So I want to be able to get to it fairly easily. So I'm probably going to want to install it right about here. So I'm just going to test where the wires will, you know, easily reach and then we'll mount it there. Then it'll just be a matter of hooking up to the 12 volt power supply, which is this unit here. And we'll put the buses over there and uh, we'll have that hooked up and then we will get it going. So uh, stand by. Okay, I mounted the two buses up here. I'm gonna run a feed now from the 12 volt power, positive and negative. Then we'll hook up the positive and negative for the board. Then we'll hook up the lights. All right, we're all hooked up. It was like trying to hook up human hairs. But I've got the two on that side, the one on that side, and then I've got my buses over there, power. And then I, I also hooked up the, the lights for the buildings there. Uh, we're going directly to the 12 volts, and now they go to the buses. So I have plenty of power over there. That's all 12 volt power. And it uh, looks like the board's working. We'll go top side and uh, see how it looks. All right, well, looks like it's working. I've got a red light there. I should have a green light there, yeah. And then I should have a red light on the other side. Yeah, now pretty soon they should change. They're green, okay, so now I should have red. Should have green on this side, red on that side. All right, and it looks like we have our buildings lit. So I hooked everything back up correctly and everything's working. So, all right, that's it for another episode of Dan's Grand Valley Layout. Um, thanks for tagging along today and helping me get that uh, uh, traffic signal job done. Uh, during the week, I'll get the limit lines in, the lines on the road, get a limit line over here, limit line here, and uh, we'll get that uh, definitely going so that looks better we'll do something maybe with uh, the bases but that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with it so all right well until next week thank you so much for watching thank you for all you new subscribers and we'll catch you next video